I was chatting to a, a lady on the till in Asda just yesterday and I was wearing a yes badge and she said to me oh see you're wearing your yes badge we've been talking about it a lot what do you think we should be voting for and I said well I believe now that we should be voting yes and she said well the more she hears about it the more she thinks about it the more she was coming to believe that as well so she asked me just what you've asked me you know why why are you supporting a yes vote I said well I sometimes think that Scotland has been treated like a pocket money country that you earn your wages and we send it all down to Big Brother down in Westminster and then they give us back some of it not only do they just give us back some of it but some of what they give us back they tell us how we've got to spend it now that's not the way I see Scotland I see us as a very mature grown-up country with very principled ideas a principled population who can decide how to spend their own money you wouldn't do that in your own household hand it over to someone else and say you can give me back what you think I need and you can tell me what I should spend it on you maybe do that when you're a teenager with your first Saturday job but not for very long after that so that's that's my main reason just a sense of pride in Scotland and taking responsibility for your own affairs uh -huh. sometimes you might get it wrong but doesn't everybody well ever since I was very young which is quite a while ago I have been an anti-nuclear person, so I really would like to see Trident gone from the Clyde. Um, we got rid of Polaris, the Americans took that away, but we still have Trident. And to people who drive up Loch Lomond side and down Glen Douglas, that is an obscenity, because that's where NATO stockpile the nuclear warheads. This isn't what I want in Scotland. And you hear people in Westminster saying, oh, it's very remote. It's not remote. It's only half an hour's drive away, 40 minutes if you're driving more slowly. So that would certainly be one way that I would not want to see any of our money spent on that. And I do think that some of the money that we would be saving from that should be spent on better fisheries protection and protecting our oil rigs. I don't think that we're going to be attacked by North Koreans or anybody with nuclear weapons, but I do think we need to afford proper protection to our, our fisheries and our own. Well, my, my background is in education and I know young people and I know how well they can be and indeed are taught in Scotland and given the opportunities as we do in Scotland currently with the Scottish Government of free university education Yes, of course, we are training our young people. What we want to be able to do in an independent Scotland, though, is, is provide more opportunities for them to actually put their skills to real use for the benefit of the nation. Well, you really do make me want to laugh. <laughs> Have you looked around Scotland? Of course we've got the resources. The most important resource is the people, of course, and we have the people. And we do have our own economy as it is, only as I said earlier, all the money that we raise, whether it's from food, tourism, whiskey, oil, whatever, all goes down to Westminster and then they only give us a part of it back. In an independent Scotland, we would have all the revenue raised in Scotland and of course we can afford it. Nobody not denies that we can afford it. Even the most staunch unionist people have to reluctantly admit that, of course, Scotland could afford it. Scotland is a wealthy nation, but so much of our wealth has been squandered.